um, R2 over R1 plus R2, which is equal to 10 volts times 2.2k uh, ohms divided by 12.2k ohms. And that's equal to, I'll have to get my calculator out and figure it out. Okay, so that's equal to 1.80327 volts. Um, you can store that in your computer if you want to, but since this isn't too accurate, then um, this will work just fine. Uh, next thing, voltage at the emitter is equal to voltage at the base minus 0.7 volts. And that's equal to 1.8. 80327 volts minus 0.7 volts equals 1.10327 volts. So I emitter current is equal to um, VE divided by RE is equal to 1.10327 volts divided by 1k equals 1.10327 milliamps. It's getting kind of ridiculous here. In RE, if we're ignoring base current here, then RE is equal to RC, excuse me, IE is equal to IC. And the voltage drop across IC, V, um, excuse me, RC is equal to IC times RC is equal to 1.10327 milliamps times. 3k ohms. Um, voltage across RC is equal to five point four zero nine eight volts. Okay, so we have 5.4098 volts from here to here, and that's voltage RC, voltage um, RE is equal to 1.10327 volts. Okay. So VCE is equal to um, voltage at the collector minus voltage at the emitter. Uh, VC is equal to 10 volts minus the voltage drop across RC, which is 5.4098 volts. Four point five nine zero one or two volts. So VCE is equal to four point five nine zero two volts minus one point one zero three two seven volts equal to 2.78 7 volts. So VCE here is 2.787 volts.
and that's the quick and dirty method of biasing this thing. There is a better way that uh, includes beta, which we know is changeable on a lot of transistors. Uh, the beta for the 3904 is a low of 30 and a high of 300. So we need to figure up a way to calculate this circuit using a beta. 